Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at a couple of postulates of parallel and perpendicular lines. Now remember, a postulate is a statement that is self-evident that does not need to be proven. So here we're going to take a look at parallel lines and perpendicular lines, and we have a postulate for each one of those. So let's read what we have here. If there is a line and a point not on the line, so here we have an example, there's a line and a point not on the line, then there's exactly one line through the point parallel to the initial line. In other words, in short, there is exactly one line through point P parallel to line 1. And so here we have a line 1, we have a point not on the line, and therefore there's only one line that can be drawn which goes through point P and which is parallel to line 1. That's postulate 1 for parallel lines. Now we're going to do this again, but now for perpendicular lines. If there is a line and a point not on the line, here we go, we have a line and a point not on the line, then there is exactly one line through the point perpendicular to the initial line. In short, there is exactly one line through point P perpendicular to line 1. And so here you can see we have a line, a point, we can draw only one line which goes through point P and at the same time which is also perpendicular to line 1. Just one line, not more than one line. And so those are the two postulates, one for parallel lines and one for perpendicular lines. And that's how we know when, the, when there's a case, when we have two lines, we have a single line and a second line, there's only one line that can be drawn parallel through that point and only one line that can be drawn perpendicular through that point. And that's how it is.